Today I'm gonna show you guys three amazing Christmas crafts that you're gonna wanna make this holiday season. So let's go ahead and dive right in. For our very first project, we're gonna start off with this shaker ornament. So when you actually download this design right here, which is completely free, you're going to be able to create this layer. So you can definitely, say for example, if you were using with your Cricut, you could definitely use like the wood veneer, layer on top of that with adhesive vinyl, or you could definitely do um, cardstock and then layer adhesive vinyl. There's several ways that you could actually do this. Um, but today I wanted to show you guys how you can even take it a step further and create a shaker uh, ornament with this. So what I've done is you can actually find these ornaments right here over at Hobby Lobby. I think you get like four or five in a pack for I think $1.50, honestly. So you're gonna go ahead and take those. You can paint them if you want to. I'm gonna leave them the natural wood here. And then I've taken a piece of foam. I've cut that out. And then I've got a piece of acetate here. But what I did was I just sized these out to the exact same size as my design. And then I went ahead and cut this out. So I went ahead and sliced two circles together to create this piece here. So we're gonna be gluing that down. I've got a little bit of glitter that we're gonna include in there. And then our design right here. It is so stinking cute and I think it's perfect. So you could always sell these crafts as well. Our designs do come with a commercial license. Um, so definitely check them out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a hot glue gun. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just start getting some glue on this piece right here. So whatever we get this, we don't want our um, glitter to leak out. So you really wanna make sure that you get glue all the way around. So I'm gonna make sure that I've got this nice and centered on here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press it down and keep going because glue is time sensitive, so it will dry really fast. So now I can just keep going. All right, so now that we have our foam on here, you could definitely use a foam tape if you want to, just cut some uh, little slices in it to make it curve all the way around. You could use like the little uh, foam circle adhesive dots and go all the way around. You just wanna make sure that there is going to be a barrier um, so your glitter does not leak out. So the next thing that you want to do is, let's go ahead and apply this piece to our acetate and get that out of the way because after that, we're gonna fill it with glitter and then glue this piece down. So let's go and do that now. To make this as easy as possible, I'm actually gonna go on top with my acetate. That way I don't have to try to figure out um, where this is gonna go on here, kinda in the in the dark blindly, if you will. I'm gonna flip it back over. I've got a piece of parchment paper down, that way I don't get this all yucky and gunked up. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take that squeegee and rub it in. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is flip this over and peel. And as you guys can see, it's right there on top of that acetate. This would even be cute if you put it on a card and then applied it right there in the middle. That would be really cute as well. But you could also put this on those acrylic keychains, and that would be really cute too. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill this with glitter, like I said. You can also use something like faux snow if you wanted to, so feel free to do whatever you would like. So I went ahead and went with a gold because gasoline's kind of like that yellow, so I just thought it would be really cute. And plus, it's pretty much like gold right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up a little bit here. And now we're gonna go ahead and glue this down. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way around with my hot glue, and then we're gonna pop this right on top. Now, like I said before, you really wanna make sure that you have that adhesive all the way around because you don't want that um, glitter to seep out. And there you guys have it. How stinking cute is that? And you're gonna be able to shake it around. I just think it is so, so cute. I love the way that this one came out. And like I said, even just using these as the natural wood that they are, you could paint them if you wanted to. You could feel free to do as little or as much as you want to, but I really, really love this. And once again, this design is completely free. For the next project, we are gonna be using this design right here. Once again, completely free. So this one comes with three different layers. You can weld it and have it all as one as you want to, but I went with the colors that they showed for a sample for us. I thought it was so cute. You could definitely go more Christmas if you want to and do the natural, the reds and whites and all of that, but I really love these colors. So what I've done is I went ahead and stacked these together the way that they're gonna go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these other two layers are right here. Now I'm doing this on a white toe bag. It is so stinking cute. And then I've got my Cricut Easy Press 320 for 30 seconds. 
All right, so we're just gonna go right on top there. Now, once again, if you guys are new to HTV, you just wanna do a around a two second tack down. And I think I need a little bit more down here. So what I'm noticing right away is that I've got a little bit of a crease here. So I'm actually just going to pop the bottom of this bag down just a little bit. Something just like that. So that way when I go back on this, I don't have to worry about that crease. If you have the 12 by 12 Cricut pads, you could definitely just put that right inside of your tote bag. All right, so once again, just like around a two second tack down, we're gonna carefully peel this off. I can see several pieces that were not 100% because we only have that two second tack down. Then we're gonna go right back in here. I mean, look at this color combo. Is it not adorable? I love it. Now, if anything is exposed like this word tangle right here, I'm just gonna go right back in there and cover that up. So now we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna pop back down for just a few seconds to make sure that uh, we just get that tacked down. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna carefully peel. All right. And then we're gonna go back in here with our string for our lights. There we go. I'm gonna cover everything once again. And this time we're gonna do that final press. I'm gonna go right back on top. I'm gonna hit go, give it a little bit of pressure. 320 for 30 seconds. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and remove that out of the way and carefully peel. I mean, look at those colors. So, so cute. Three different layers, but once again, you can definitely weld them. I love the way that this one came out. I am super duper obsessed. Not only would this make the absolute perfect tote bag for anyone to carry, whether it's for your groceries, uh, maybe you're gonna gift it to a teacher, a friend, or carry your books in it. This would also be perfect to put the gifts in, to make it a gift bag as well. Maybe even add a little bow here, but even just leaving it like this is so, so cute. So I love the way this one came out. Again, this is a free design. For our last project, I am so excited and I am so here for it. And we are going to find out together if this is gonna work. So if it does, this is going to be a brand new hack for sublimation and it's going to be exclusive. It has started here. I can't really say the word exclusive, but you have seen it first here. So I'm so excited about this and I just feel like this is gonna be trending everywhere. I may have possibly figured out the white to our sublimation. So. This is what I'm thinking. I've got my red t-shirt here. I was actually going to bleach it. So say for example, this is a Heather. I could have bleached this out and then my design would have popped on there. So I could have used regular sublimation. I could have bleached the t-shirt and you would have seen our design. But I thought, you know, I wanna spruce it up. I really wanna try something different. So you guys know that recently we have discovered the DTF hack. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check it out. We have several on our channel. I'll try to link one up above and down below, but but you can actually use DTF film and DTF powder to create um, and to be able to put it on 100% cotton. Now, once again, this is 50-50, but this design right here is red. Our t-shirt's red, so it would not pop. So if I was to put this on here, I'm not gonna put it all the way down. You really wouldn't see that too great, all right? So it'd almost be like a tone on tone. I know right now it seems like it would, but once I peel this, you're not gonna see a whole lot of that. It's gonna really kind of blend in there. So I was thinking, what can we do? So this is my idea. So if you guys have not also seen, I love what's called screen print confetti. We used it last year on some t-shirts and then we've been using it this season as well. So definitely make sure you guys check out our videos on that alone. But with screen print confetti, what it is is it's screen print ink and is brought into tiny little sprinkles and you can just sprinkle that all over the shirt. So I thought, what if we created a faux bleach design today? So basically, I'm gonna make this almost look like the bleach behind, but it's also going to become my, my white ink so I'm gonna be using a cross between the screen print and the sublimation now this is not gonna be regular sublimation print this is going to be the DTF hack so if you guys have been playing around with that DTF hack now I have not tried um, sublimation on this I definitely need to try that out but I'm gonna do the DTF with this all right so here we go so this is what I'm thinking number one I could definitely trim all the way around this and then I could take my screen print confetti and I can just sprinkle around where this design is going to be. So that way I know I'm covering the entire area. So I could actually go ahead and take my scissors, nicely cut around this design and do that so I can know where that's at, but I'm not going to do that. I think I can pretty much figure out, I can go ahead and get a base of my top here, all right? Get a base for my sides. 
and get it for the bottom, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna almost create my white background. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle, 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 sprinkle this everywhere that design's gonna go. And I am going to be creating the white background. And this is going to look like bleach splatters. So once again, do this as heavy or as light handed as you would like, um, just as you normally would see, you know, a bleach look right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something right about like this. Now, once we do this, we can come back and we can add some in different spots, which we will probably do. So I can come back in with my design, hover above and look at that and say, okay, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Once again, if I wanna go in heavy handed with this and really make sure it's really saturated with that white, I can do so. Maybe add just a little bit more. I am so, so excited for this one. It just clicked me and I thought, what if this works? And so I will be doing wash tests on this, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Keep an eye on the description below. But I know that the two of these do hold up, so I really believe together it's gonna be completely fine. Here we go. So what we need to do is we need to press this first for 10 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and go right on top here. And once again, I'm just gonna press for 10 seconds. So I'll pick this up and I'm just gonna kinda go back and forth because I wanna make sure I'm covering everything. So I'll actually probably go for around 15 seconds. And yes, we'll be pressing this again, but I wanna make sure I'm not gonna lift anything up. All right, so that looks good to me. So we're gonna move that out of the way. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and carefully peel this. Now I will say, if you have some of that coming up with you, go ahead and just repress once again. Make sure that you are giving it a little bit of pressure. The time and temp that you really wanna use for screen print confetti is around 325 to 350 for 10 to 12 seconds. So I do have my temp a little bit higher. So once again, if it starts to come up, go ahead and go back down, press it a little bit, give it a little bit more pressure um, and you should be good to go. Now, if you notice a difference with my t-shirt, it's got some moisture that's came out. So that's the difference in the color tone in case you guys are seeing that. But how cool is this? So this is a faux bleach look right now. So now what we're gonna do, so I'm going to go ahead and go on top. So once again, if you've not seen our DTF hack, definitely make sure you check it out. I'll have it linked above or down below. Um, so definitely check that out. We also have a really cool, easy video on our TikTok. I'll have that link down below for you guys as well as Instagram. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out center of my design somewhere right about in here. And I'm going to go ahead and take a couple pieces of piece tape. All right, so we're gonna take that heat tape because with this hack, there is no, um, there's no sticky that kind of holds that down. All right, so I'm actually gonna cover this again because I don't want any of that screen print to get on my um, Cricut Easy Press. And then we're gonna hit go. 385 for 40 seconds is what you wanna do for that um, DTF hack. So it's really cool because you're gonna use the DTF film with the DTF powder and sublimation ink. Um, and it's just a really cool thing that you can sublimate on 100% cotton. But this screen print confetti in white is going to give you the white background. So that's ultimately what we're doing with this. There's tons of colors of screen print confetti for you to put all over the shirt. This is going to give us a faux bleach look and it's going to give us that white background that we need when it comes to sublimation. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and move this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fan this just a little bit. So whenever it comes to the DTF hack, you wanna fill it almost cold or cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down and we'll be right back. Now I can already see that I really should have went in with more of a heavy hand of this white instead of that sprinkle look. So we're gonna go ahead and peel. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up so you guys can see it here, but you guys can see that I really should have went in because see how that white you can see it in the background of the truck and everything right now it really looks like snow but had i went in with a heavy hand it really would have gave us that white background that we were looking for now if you wanted to you could go ahead and sprinkle this stuff all over here and there just to have like that that bleach spritz you know how you spray it all over the t-shirt so i'm going to go ahead and speed this up Now, if you wanna get more of a concentrated, like a bleach, like real big bleach splatter, what you can do is open that lid and just kind of get you a glob of it going on here. And so some of it will stick down and some of it won't. So whenever you kind of pile on top, you can kind of spread that out just like that and then continue to just sprinkle. And there you guys have it for that faux bleach look. So I'm really, really excited because this feels amazing. So I really do think it's going to hold up in the wash with them compared together or paired together, if you will. But I do believe if we went in with a nice heavy hand to completely cover this right here, or possibly 
we use a screen. So if you use an, a real screen print screen with the screen print ink, which I do have, so if you guys wanna see that, definitely comment down below. We could actually flood this area so we could actually cut out one of our bleach looks. So we actually have some of those designs that you can cut it out and it has the little rough edges. We could screen print this area and flood that area and then press on top of that with the DTF hack. So I really do believe that will help this pop and I really do think that they're going to stay well together. But doing this like this with the screen print confetti, you can get those blotches like you would get with bleach without having to take it out and really mess with such a heavy chemical um, and have to go through the whole process of letting the sun do its thing, washing them. You can still get that same fun effect. So I'm really excited because this is something that you can even do with HTV if you want it to. So you guys let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this hack? Are you guys excited? Are you guys going to try it? Let me know. I'm so, so excited. I hope you guys have enjoyed these. Once again, these are all free files for you guys. And also let me know which one of these projects that you guys are going to recreate. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.